Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You've heard me. You've heard Too Raw. You've heard Ticket. You've heard 7-8. You've heard uh, Goodfella Sports TV. And particularly talk about these type of subjects. You know, these are always very touchy subjects. But I think the problem is, is the hypocrisy that comes along when you talk about this particular subject. At the end of the day, we have to hold everybody accountable and everybody should be called out when they are basically involved in something like this. But to a certain degree, they really trying to legalize this or basically trying to turn this into a no big deal type of situation. But I can tell you now, you clearly see, you know, basically um, a gender pass. Because it seems like when it is somebody of the opposite gender uh, participating in something like this, they're not shamed, they're not called out for the most part, they're not humiliated like they would do if it's a man doing this. So at the same time, I hear people talking about, you know, um, pedophilia and, and basically, you know, perverted people walking around it's funny how you got all these women that be at these gyms and stuff that be trying to secretly catch a man looking at them when they basically have on these skin tight you know uh shorts to where their their ass is hanging out but then they have the audacity to try to make it look like you're some type of pervert if you look at them but then this will be the same chick that'll make a video uh a, a week or a month later saying nobody's approaching me but then you're insinuating that a dude is a pervert, you know, basically trying to, you know, basically trying to cause a stir and basically having fake and inconsistent outrage. And here's another case of inconsistent outrage. Now, here it is. This is a um, rapper whose name is Little Wody, and he is from the Alabama area. Now, reports are saying that this man or should I say this kid, I'm not even going to call him a man. He's not even a young man. He's not even uh, 18 yet. But it appears that this that this kid, this, this child, who's not even legally eligible to drink, is involved in a relationship and supposed to be engaged to a 26-year-old woman. Uh, rumors started to basically circulate and swirl when basically they saw him getting dropped off at school. He's still in high school by her. He doesn't even have a driver's license yet, but yet he's supposed to be engaged. But he's in a relationship with a whole 26 year old. And this is what we're talking about. You know, when these type of crimes are committed towards men, it's not really that big of a deal. They don't make it out to be a shaming ritual like they do if it's a male. Here it is. You have, you know, hip hop artists that's allegedly tied to this kind of stuff. And you have people poking shots at them. And rightfully so, because you shouldn't be screwing around with somebody that's not even legally eligible to drink or old enough to drink. Come on, man. But this dude is still in high school. I don't even think he's had his growth spur yet. But yet this lady is messing around with him. And how the fuck are you engaged at age 16? Who the fuck is this dude's parents? Who is his mother? Like, how did this happen? Like, first of all, if, if my son came home bringing some 26-year-old in my house talking about this is my girlfriend... Man, I would go to, <laughs> man, I'd say, hold on a second. Next thing you know, you would just hear a click come out and you should know what happens afterward. I'd be like, if you don't get your ass out of my house, I swear on everything I love, it's going to be a problem. But they've always, to a certain degree, tried to make this seem like this was cool when, a whim, when, when women were doing this type of thing. They tried to make it seem like it was cool, like it was an it thing. And no, it's not an it thing. It's not cool at all, whether it's a woman doing it or whether it's a man. If you are 26, you ain't got no damn business screwing around with somebody that's 16. 
Now, unfortunately, this woman cannot be brought up on charges because guess why? Because the age of consent in the state of Alabama is 16. So technically, she's not breaking the law, but morally, she doesn't have any self-respect or integrity. And to me, I feel like she's I, I feel like she's um, brainwashing this young man. This dude should be thinking about his career. He should be thinking about trying to maybe possibly college and trying to do other things. But here he is basically attached and basically involved in somebody 10 years, his, his senior, like, like what is going on here? What is going on here? It's really headed towards the anything goes uh, time. It just appears that anything goes now. It appears that they are not even like, like really, really caring about this type of thing anymore. Unless you're a man. And like I said before, if this was a man doing this, they I'm talking about you would have all type of people coming after this dude saying he ought to be ashamed of himself and he's a pervert. Well, this woman is a pervert. It is no way in hell you can justify fi being with somebody that's not even old enough to drink. For real. We're going backwards, not forward. What we have now is we have a bunch of uh, of people that are just, well, we don't, instead of like shaming people, we just not going to say nothing. She should be shamed. She should be ridiculed. I don't even know who this lady is, but she should be, I mean, she should be ripped across the boards. I mean, like I said, what in your right mind would like make you, even remotely think about something like this what make you decide that you want to start screwing around with a 16 year old boy it says a lot about her character i wonder what's her background you know what is her background where did she come from but anyway this is just some weird this is just some weird shit and, and it's disgusting it's just it's disgusting and I want to ask the women that are on my channel, that follow my channel, that are subscribed to my channel. How would you feel if your 16 year old son told you that he was messing with somebody 20, 26 years old, 10 years older than him? You wouldn't have a problem with this. His innocence has already been taken away from him. By her. Like I said, if you look at the picture, she taller than the nigga. The nigga ain't even had a growth spur yet. She probably be carrying him. But nevertheless, despicable. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.